To this day, the market for electric pickup trucks is still a relatively undeveloped sector, and Tesla is eager to increase its market share. However, after the company's electric pickup truck, the Cybertruck suffered a lot of delays. However, the anxious consumers who have placed pre-orders will soon be able to rejoice because the Cybertruck is finally going to happen. The Tesla Cybertruck has the potential to compete with all of the most popular pickup trucks on the market, despite the fact that it appears to have been dropped off by an extraterrestrial race. The all-electric vehicle produced by Tesla is exceptionally durable, thanks to its sharp-edged bodywork that is composed of stainless steel, which is resistant to scratching and denting. Cybertruck is capable of towing up to 14,000 pounds and has an estimated operating range of more than 500 miles. Additionally, all-wheel drive is an option for this vehicle. Although this is only true for the most costly model, the price of the least expensive one begins at $39,900. Naturally, there is still a great deal that we do not know about the Cybertruck, including the exact day on which it will be made available for purchase. In this video, we will show you what to anticipate from the Tesla Cybertruck when it eventually arrives in 2023 as well as what to expect from it. Pickup trucks serve as the primary mode of transportation for many homes and small businesses. They are able to move both people and goods quickly and safely, and it is simple to understand why they are so well-liked because they appeal to those passionate about trucks but concerned about their impact on the environment when they drive. The pickup truck is one of the most popular body styles in the United States and Tesla has decided to expand its inventory to include this vehicle type. The Cybertruck provides the corporation with a product that has the potential to be a great seller, considering the popularity of trucks in this country. It has incredibly impressive stats for both an electric vehicle and a pickup. However, right out of the gate, it will have to go up against the Ford F-150 Lightning, the GMC Hummer EV, and the Rivian R1T in terms of competition. In the next couple of years, Chevy plans to release an electric version of the Silverado, and Ram claims that it will have an electric truck with a bed on the market by 2024. There will be three distinct configurations of the Cybertruck available to purchase, and they will all be differentiated by the number of electric motors that they include. Even though all-wheel drive comes standard on all models, saves for the one with a single engine, adding more motors results in improved acceleration, a more extended driving range, and a higher towing capability. The Cybertruck can be purchased with not one, not two, but all three of the electric motors that are now available. All-wheel drive is standard on the two-motor and three-motor variants of the truck, while only the rear wheels turn on the single motor type. Tesla asserts that it will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and have a top speed of 110 miles per hour. It is said that the dual motor Cybertruck would be able to reach 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds and will have a maximum speed of 120 miles per hour. Those who are interested in the highest possible level of performance will like the three motor version of the vehicle, which Tesla claims can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and has a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour. Every Cybertruck has a height-adjustable air suspension that allows for instantaneous raising or lowering of the vehicle's ride height and has a ground clearance of up to 16 inches. When combined with its approach angle of 35 degrees and its departure angle of 28 degrees, a Tesla truck has the potential to be a competent off-road vehicle. Towing capacity as well as payload capacity. Suppose Tesla claims that the Cybertruck can tow as much as it says it can. In that case, the truck will have a maximum rating that is higher than that of popular competitors like the Ram 1500. Since 2012, Tesla has been hard at work on their Cybertruck. To begin, they came up with the concept of creating an electric pickup truck with load-compensating suspension, using analogy of a Ford F-250 as a comparison. Musk estimated at the beginning of 2014 that it would be five years before work could begin on the vehicle, which was eventually named the Cybertruck and unveiled in 2019. The unusual and futuristic appearance of the vehicle attracted a lot of people's attention immediately. Elon Musk admitted that the sci-fi look was deliberate on his part to shake up the monotony that he believed had settled over the market. According to sources that are not officially affiliated with the company, the truck has received more than 1 million pre-orders despite the fact that its appearance may or may not appeal to you. Despite the truck's enormous size, it would appear that those who have pre-ordered it perceive something different within. The top trim level of the Cyber Truck, which is capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, makes it one of the quickest pickup trucks that have ever been produced. Tesla's lesser trims use one or two electric motors in conjunction with their tri-motor all-wheel drive arrangement. In addition, Tesla has upgraded the new 2023 Cyber Truck with a number of improvements making it an even more impressive vehicle than the one it showed off during the introduction. To begin, let's go over the features that Tesla has kept the same in this updated edition of the Cyber Truck. The Cybertruck is an extremely unique vehicle and CDO Elon Musk has described it as the company's greatest product ever. He claims that the vehicle has a lot of new technological locks, which makes it difficult to manufacture but argues that the effort was worth it because customers will still find it enjoyable. 
The fact is that Cybertruck has a top speed of 130 miles per hour and can go up to 500 miles on a single charge. Because Tesla just released their new 4680 battery. If you are concerned about your budget, two additional variants are also available that are lower in price. Regardless of the version you choose to purchase, however, you will be able to use the power from the battery to power any electric tool or even your home. You will be able to take the cyber truck camping thanks to a technology called Vehicle to Grid or V2G for short. With this technology, you will still have access to a power source even when you are away from the grid. Steel is used for the construction of Tesla vehicles. The identical 30X cold rolled stainless steel that Musk's other company, SpaceX, utilizes in the production of its Starship rocket. It improves the safety of the passengers inside the cabin in the sad event that an accident occurs, but there is even more safety as the windows are built from armored glass, which unquestionably won't break easily in the event of an accident. Each and every material that goes into the construction of the Cybertruck has been handpicked to offer the highest possible levels of durability, superior strength, and endurance. In point of fact, Musk has joked that the Cybertruck is the ideal vehicle to possess in the event of an apocalypse, since it will provide you with the highest level of safety. The suspension of the Cybertruck is adjustable, allowing for a height change of up to 4 inches in any direction. When the bed is too high for access or riding over uneven areas, this is a beneficial feature. The bed of the Cybertruck provides an additional 100 cubic feet of storage capacity and the front of the bed is equipped with a magic tonneau cover that is sturdy enough to sustain your weight if you choose to stand on it. Although the interior of the new Cybertruck has undergone some significant modifications, it is still able to provide comfortable seating for a total of six persons. Keep in mind that the Cybertruck only accommodates wide loads. You can access the settings as well as the entertainment system via the humongous touchscreen display that measures 17 by 17 inches and is located in the middle of the dashboard. You may recall that we discussed a Cybertruck model that featured three motors, right? There will be one that is even more powerful than that, as Tesla is now working on a vehicle with four motors. We may reasonably anticipate that Tesla will shave many more seconds off the time required to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Because is the first model that Tesla will put into production, you can anticipate that it will be priced higher than the most expensive option available previously. Even though the revived R1T with its four motors didn't stand a chance against the Cybertruck, it's nice to know that the Tesla truck will also have four motors. This is especially true considering that, as a truck designed for adventure off the beaten path, you never know when it will require the additional power. Because there is an additional motor, there is a possibility that the cargo capacity will be increased. The Tesla is estimated to weigh 3,500 pounds and even its towing capacity is approximately 14,000 pounds at the moment. In the event that you need to deal with a flat tire, there is an air compressor on board for your convenience. The Cybertruck provides capabilities such as autopilot, which enables the vehicle to operate autonomously without human intervention. Suppose you look at the initial form of the truck that Musk displayed. In that case, you'll notice that Tesla made some modifications to the front of the vehicle. You will know that the trunk is now shorter, and the edges of the front are rounded off a bit more now that the new version has been implemented. The decreased size of the vehicle results in even less space in the front trunk, which we can safely say was already quite cramped. Including a windshield wiper is the most obvious distinction between the Cybertruck and other Tesla vehicles or even competing pickup trucks. Nonetheless, there is no substantial difference between the Cybertruck and other Tesla vehicles. Musk has mentioned how difficult the windshield wiper assembly was to develop. Because of the huge windshield, the initial design of the windshield wiper was somewhat unattractive, and given Musk's reputation for creating streamlined products, it was clear that this wouldn't do. Now, Tesla has been able to make the wiper appear to be retractable, while simultaneously reducing its overall size. A second possibility is that the windshield wiper will always be positioned on the driver's side of the truck. Even though it is still quite big, the wiper is now much simpler to ignore. It is quite likely that Tesla will install an instrument cluster in front of the driver's seat, judging by the way the windshield appears in the photographs of the new Cybertruck. Similar to the Model 3, this was absent from the first iteration of the Cybertruck, but it would appear that Tesla is aiming for a contemporary interior design complete with a yoke for the steering wheel and an instrument cluster. Musk stated that he himself is not a fan of side mirrors due to the fact that the Cyber is equipped with a large number of high-quality cameras. However, since regulations demand side mirrors, Tesla will be adding a couple of them. On the other hand, Musk has dropped hints that regulations mandate that vehicles come equipped with side mirrors, but it is up to individual drivers to decide how to use them. He has proposed that those who do not want them should be entitled to remove them from their property. Concerning cameras, it is a given that each and every Tesla vehicle will be loaded down with an abundance of them. Tesla has made various modifications to the outward appearance of the camera, but the Cybertruck has not changed in any way. In the past, they were in the shape of a triangle, but now they are circular. We are at a loss to understand why Tesla would choose to replace the slick-looking camera with something so unremarkable. And we find this to be an unfortunate turn of events, 
so it would appear that Testel was not fond of the position that was formerly conspicuous. The sidewalls of the vehicle have also undergone some modification. There is no actual handle. Therefore, how are you going to enter the cyber truck if the doors do not have handles on them? According to photographs taken inside the new cyber truck, to gain entry with your phone, you will most likely be required to position it in close proximity to the B pillar. Alternately, we believe Tesla will import a thumb sensor from the forthcoming Roadstar, which has been shown to feature the technology on the side. We are going to move to the rear of the truck. Tesla has made a fairly substantial adjustment to the bed on older versions is where earlier versions. The bed of the old truck was constructed out of steel, just like the rest of the vehicle, while the bed of the new cyber truck was created out of a durable plastic substance. Although we are unaware of the financial implications, this move could help Tesla save some money. Additionally, it will probably result in a reduction in the total amount of weight. Ever since it was first revealed, it has been hinted that this cyber truck will be equipped with a pass-through system. However, only now are we seeing proof that the capability is actually being incorporated. Someone with sharp vision observed this as it was taking place on the lot of the corporation in Fremont. Despite the fact that it could move on its own, one of the Cybertruck prototypes on display at the plant lacked several components. It had no doors and there was no hood over the engine either. It appeared as though the car did not have a rear wall or a tailgate, and even more significantly, the vehicle did not appear to have a rear gate. This indicated that Tesla may be trying to sneakily integrate the pass-through system for the Cybertruck, which should enable owners to transport long objects without having to lower the vehicle's tailgate. If successful, this should allow owners to transport longer items. The Cybertruck's second-row seats were photographed, and these images suggested that the vehicle's back bench may be built to either fold down or flip up. This gave the impression that Tesla may be considering optimizing the available storage space of the Cybertrucks even more beyond the concrete vault and trunk they already have. In the following comment box, we want to hear what you think about the brand new Cybertruck 2023.